Hello, just lovers. Welcome to Wusetia's channel. I'm Lisa. The fourth world champion, Ali Khan, was really a well-rounded player. He was not only skilled at dealing with positional games, but also mastered complex combinations and tactics. And the thing that surprises me the most is Ali Khan's counterintuitive moves in many games. I feel that it's really a great talent for Alekhine to come up with moves that are against our intuition, but with great accuracy. But in fact, Alekhine stated that he was not a genius like uh, Capablanca, but his talent was cultivated by his persistent effort in chess. He has studied chess days and nights and for several years, so that he was able to calculate faster and deeper than many other players. And yes, such counterintuitive moves had to be based on long-term practice, accumulation, and an outstanding ability in calculation. So now let's have a look at the first game. In fact, this game was not an outstanding game according to Alekhine's standard, but the final combination is really excellent and extremely surprising. In this position, White has sacrificed a piece, but it seems that it's really hard for White to develop. For example, White cannot play rook h8 because Black can just simply move the king out. Also, why cannot play g6? Because black queen is protecting this uh, g6 square. But here, Alekhine played a really excellent and counterintuitive move. So now we can pause the video for a moment and think about what white should play in this position. So white plays knight e5. Wow, hard to imagine. Seems that at the first sight, this move is completely nonsense because, you know, it's so different from normal combinations which are obvious. But this move looks like just sacrificing a knight without getting anything. So I believe that according to your intuition, you are not able to come up with this move at your first sight. But actually, the purpose of this move is to divert the queen or the pawn. For example, if black plays queen takes e5, white can simply play g6. Now the queen can no longer protect this g6 square. So here white is threatening rook h8 and black can no longer prevent it. So in a real game, black takes with a d pawn. Still, white plays g6. A really excellent move, and queen takes g6, queen c4. And now can find that black's pawn is no longer in d6 and can no longer play d5 to block this diagonal. So no matter what black plays in next move, no matter rook f7 or queen f7, we can just simply play rook h8. It's a checkmate. And another point here is that sequence is really important because you can't play g6 first and then knight e5 because black can simply take the rook. If you take with the rook, black can just take the knight. And now black the twist up. So Ali Khan really paid attention to the sequence in the real game and also I believe that he calculated a lot and he calculated every variation clearly so that he was able to come up with such a beautiful uh, counterintuitive move. Alekhain was also good at calculating dozens of moves in a head clearly and coming up with counterintuitive attacks in complex positions. So let's have a look of one of the most celebrated and famous games of the 20th century played by Alekhain.
This position is really complex, and you can notice that this ET knight is attacking this uh, rook. This FD pawn is attacking this uh, E3 rook, and also this knight is under attack by two pieces. As black, I believe that your intuition is to uh, take a piece. So, for example, you may first come up with a uh, knight c1 taking this rook, but then you'll find that black can just simply take this rook with the f2 pawn, and now black can no longer have any development. So you may also come up with this rook f3, but you'll find that white is going to take this knight, and you can take this pawn, king takes bishop e2. Black is a pawn up, but this position is really hard for black to win. In the real game, after thorough calculation, Alikhan played another really excellent but counterintuitive move. He played knight e4. Wow, and you can find that this move makes the position more complex. And you can find that in this position, it seems that every piece is attacking a piece. And in this position, it's really hard for white to play. For example, white cannot take this rook because black can take this rook, attacking both the knight and the rook. And now black is winning a piece. In the real game, white played rook c4. Actually, this is the best defense in this position. And Alikhan played knight takes this f2, finally winning a pawn. And this position is really promising for black because all the black pieces are really active. White plays bishop g2 to active this bishop, and here still black has to be careful because black can neither take the knight with a rook nor with a bishop because, for example, rook f3, rook e2. And bishop e3 takes takes still rook e2.、Uh, black did not gain anything. And here Alikhan played another excellent move, that is bishop e6, threatening this rook. In the same time, gave the square to this knight. The game continued with rook c2, knight g4. Now this knight is going to perform a really artistic. Maneuver in this chessboard. So white plays king h3, knight e5. Check and threat this f3 knight. White can only play king h2. Black finally takes this knight with the rook, and white can only play rook e2. Again, knight g4 check. Queen h3, knight e3. Check and threaten this rook. King h2. Knight c2. Bishop takes this rook. Knight d4. Double attack. Rook f2. Knight takes. Rook takes. Bishop d5. Another double attack. And now finally, black is winning a piece, and white resigned here. Wow, what a brilliant finish! Kasparov commented, "A real diamond. One of the most brilliant games in the history of chess." Do you also hope to come up with such beautiful counterintuitive moves in your games? There's no shortcut, but the only way is to practice. Practice days and nights, and practice every day as Alikhan did, and then probably your talent in chess will be triggered, and you will also become a great chess player. Subscribe on Musaichi's channel. I will bring you more interesting games next time.